In my third part of my three-part series on how to record gameplay off your video game console, I'm going to show you guys how to take that video game raw footage and add audio commentary using a microphone. I do recommend noise cancelling microphones like the one that I have. It's from Blue Snowball. It's a great microphone. It does the job greatly and I know you guys love the audio quality on my videos. Then the next thing you want to do is either use your PC or in my case I have a MacBook right next to me in order to render out your video in the highest resolution as possible. 720p and 1080p are probably the standard now on YouTube and everybody loves watching videos in high def. So please sit back, enjoy the tutorial that I'm going to give you guys and hopefully you learn something and don't forget to leave a comment down below with any questions that you might have. Now since I do all my primary editing, rendering, and audio commentary on my MacBook, I'm just going to show you guys quickly how to use iMovie 09 in order to import, edit, add commentary, and render out your video at the best possible settings. So the two videos are at the top, which are saved from my HD PVR. Now I'm quickly just going to open up iMovie. It's going to take a second for it to boot up, and you can see some projects that I already have imported at the bottom. So. You can see the imported video area at the bottom. To your left at the top is my project area and my video preview area is to the right at the top. What I'm going to do is go into File, Import Movies. And it's quickly just going to show me the two video files on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is select the video file that I want to work with that I just recorded. You can change the different event that you want to put your video files into. I like to kind of organize everything and put it into events that I can quickly stream through. You can copy the file or move the file over completely in order to save space. Once that's done, it's going to take a few minutes in order to import and render the video in order to for previews. Now the next thing I will be showing you guys is how to create a project, edit your video, and add any effects or outros or intros that you might be interested in. So we'll quickly just go into File, New, and we're going to open up a new project. So quickly just name it so that you guys can easily find it in case you're not finishing the project right away. So as simple as it is, it automatically opens the project. Right click onto your video, select the entire clip, and just drag it into the video work area. Once that is done, just scroll up to the beginning of the video. Now you can quickly just see me mouse over the video and it's going to show me a quick little preview of the video. There's a little bit of lag in the video as I did not pre-process the video when I was importing it. If you do want smooth motion in the video and audio preview in live as you stream your mouse over the video, you can pre-process the video in the actual importing process. Now the next thing you want to do is insert any intro and outros. Obviously, if you have some created that are your own, you would simply just choose another video file and drag it in at the beginning or the end. Now, in my case, when I first began my channel, I was using this intro, which is Want More, Subscribe Now, which is basically just a generic iMovie outro. Essentially, I just dragged it from my text settings, drag it in, add a nice little transition effect, which causes it just to kind of blend all together, and that's as simple as editing your video. Now to quickly show you guys how I'm going to edit and record my commentary. Alright guys, so this is Magnitude X. Welcome back to another Gamer's Beverage episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm going to have another uh, great game for you guys. I'm playing with Christian Knox once again on San Donato by the day setting. I have actually played the new map and the new setting which is the San Donato Night. It's a gorgeous map. It looks beautiful. I mean, even though it's still the same map, it's actually uh, changes it up quite a bit. And Ubisoft is absolutely genius. And what they did is they provided day and night settings for all of their maps. And it's actually, you know, it helps you out quite a bit because you have a more of a variety. There's more hiding spots and there's a lot more uh, to do on a map, especially once the setting changes. So we're quickly just starting off. I'm running out ahead. I know Christian Knox likes to be always the first one up ahead and doing his work. A 
When recording your audio commentary, make sure to keep a notepad close to you. Have some points of interest and anything that you might want to talk about or anything that may have happened in the video that you want to take note of. Now the next thing to do is always check your audio over. Make sure the settings are set optimally and the voice quality is at a high enough setting that you can actually hear the video behind the audio and your audio or your commentary is at a much higher volume than the actual video game settings. A lot of the times people will record audio commentary and it clashes with the actual sounds in the video. Now make sure you do set the ducking properly because that would allow you to mute the volume of the actual gameplay and allow your audio commentary to be heard fully. Now once you're all set, hit the done button and you're all set to start rendering your video. Do a last little final check play through your video just to make sure your audio is there and all your intros and outros are all set. Your audio and video is all set and all cues are there properly aligned and there's no issues with the audio overlapping or being too quiet. You can go to render your project. When rendering your project, make sure you go into share and export movie. What that's going to allow you to do is export it in 720p if you are using iMovie 09. If you are using iMovie 11, it does have an extra setting for 1080p. But don't worry, I will show you guys what settings you need to change in order to get it output at 1080p. So essentially just use the HD setting and you can export it. It usually takes about an hour to two hours. Now if you want to export in 1080p, go into share again and go into export as QuickTime Movie. Choose the MPEG-4 option and go into options to change it. Now choose MP4 and from the video format settings, it's going to say MPEG-4 basic, choose the 1920 by 1080 HD setting, keyframe automatic, and the data rate, change it to 16,200. This is going to give you the best optimal setting for 1080p exporting in iMovie 09. Now a lot of these settings are pretty much standard in iMovie 11 and you don't really have to fool around with any of them. But when you are exporting your project, it does take a little bit of time, especially at a higher quality. Don't be fooled by seeing the only 25 to 29 minutes up at the top. It does actually drastically go up and extend the time length. So hopefully this helps you guys out and use it to good use. Once you guys are done recording your audio commentary track, remember to check over your video, listen to the audio, and make sure there isn't any parts missing or any syncing issues. Because once you step into the render process, it can take upwards of an hour to two hours to render a video in 720 or 1080p. Now when you're doing that, there's no going back and it's really time wasting if you do kind of rush it. So make sure you check over your project check over the audio, listen to it again, make sure all the parts and sequences are there. So hopefully this three-part series on how to record your gameplay from your console helps you guys out. I'm Magnitudex from Gamers Beverage signing out and in case you guys missed it, parts one and two, I'll provide you guys the links at the end of this video. If you do have any questions about noise cancelling microphones like the Blue Snowball that I use in my tutorial, make sure to check out www.bluemic.com. Now in case you guys missed the beginning of my tutorial, make sure you subscribe to Gamers Beverage and check out part 1 for recording equipment and part 2 for recording software and gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoy this 3 part series and thank you for watching.